This is the only concealer that I've consistently had for pretty much the last four years of me being a makeup artist. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the second video of the 25 Days of Kitmas. From now until Christmas, I will be uploading a makeup kit based video for 25 days straight. If you guys missed the last video, I did go over all the foundations that I carry in my kit, swatches, and why I picked each foundation for my kit. The natural question next would be, which concealers do I carry in my kit? This is going to be a little bit shorter of a video from last time because I do not carry that many concealers. I only have one liquid concealer and one cream concealer, and that's all I carry in my kit. The very first concealer that I wanted to go over is my absolute favorite favorite liquid concealer and of course as I mentioned the only one that's a liquid concealer in my kit this is literally the only one that I found that works good on mature skin oily skin dry skin this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer you guys have seen me use this like multiple different times on my channel in my kit this is the only concealer that I've consistently had for pretty much the last four years of me being a makeup artist that's kind of insane <laughs> I feel like as artists we just are constantly switching out our stuff all the time and to have some products stick with you for a straight up four years is an accomplishment and that also proves that it's a really awesome product too. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about these. I'm going to go on to Ulta's website because that's usually where I get this from. I mentioned last time that you can apply for pro artist discounts to get discounts on makeup. However, I don't think Too Faced themselves actually offers a pro artist discount and no other websites that has Too Faced does pro artist discounts. So unfortunately, I do just have to pay full price for these. As the name states, it is multi-use. So you can use it for contour, concealer, foundation, pretty much does whatever you need it to do complexion wise. There's some deeper shades that I've used for contouring before. They make a really excellent bronzer. That's also the reason why they're like so freaking big. Like usually concealers are a lot skinnier, they're a lot smaller. So I ended up having a complete brain fart somewhere along the way and forgot to actually read the description. So the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer is a hydrating, full coverage, weightless, four-in-one concealer that covers, contours, highlights, and retouches. It's oil-free, full coverage, and and it also has a hydrating finish to it. It also is vegan and cruelty-free and retails for $34. Of course, you can't use this straight out of the applicator on clients. So I have taken the liberty of actually depotting it into containers. These are the containers, again, that I use for my kit. I'll go ahead and link these down below because they do come from Amazon. I will be doing a whole entire Amazon kit favorites as part of the 25 days of kit miss. So definitely go ahead and stay tuned for that. It won't be until like later on. And I also do get a lot of questions of how I got these out of the tube and got them into here. Guys, a lot of patience. There is excess that is on the tip of here and I literally unscrew this and just started scraping. I, at one point in time, I did have my husband use an electronic saw and just like saw off the top of these. Problem was though, that all the sawdust and the plastic parts end up getting inside of the concealer and mixing in with the concealer. And of course, I don't want to apply that on somebody's face. Um, so that was a huge fail. And I cannot get the stopper out of this guy to be able to like fully get in there. If you guys have a better solution, then definitely let me know. But as of right now, that's how I depotted these. I just have a lot of patience, but it did take a really freaking long amount of time to do that. So I personally only carry three concealer shades inside of my kit. And you guys are going to be like, okay. I ended up combining like four of the shades that I used to have in my kit into two jars. So that's why I only have three. I just have them labeled one, two, and a three. Two colors mixed into here and then two colors mixed into here. And that's pretty much how I operate. And then since they have a really good color range on them, then I'll just mix them in between to get people's concealer shades. Concealer doesn't have to be as closely matched as foundation. So that's why I usually only have three of them. And I can literally encompass a lot of tones through here. A lot of the times I don't need a concealer shade that is darker than this. So that's why I only have this one as the deepest shade. So I'll kind of just tell you guys briefly which shades I used to have in my kit just by going over the names of them. But literally there is 30 concealer colors in this range. So you will not have an issue <laughs> at all trying to pick out concealer shades, but I understand that it's very overwhelming to try to do. And I won't unfortunately be able to provide swatches of these like I did in the foundations video just because I do have a lot of them mixed together. But I will tell you guys that I do definitely carry Cloud, which is this guy right here. Cloud is the lightest color that the range carries. And as I mentioned in the foundations video, I do have a straight up white color in the Face Atelier foundation range. So you can also mix in the white color adjuster with the concealer shades too if you need something that's lighter than this. I also carried Almond and then I carried Porcelain at one point in time. I also carried nude light beige, which light beige is actually this one. So I'll go ahead and swatch it with you guys. Light beige is actually technically the color tone that I wear on myself personally. So that is the color light beige. 
And then I also did have the color Sand, which is actually pretty close to this shade that I have mixed in here. So I'll go ahead and swatch that for you guys. So again, I combined two different shades here, but I'm pretty sure this is what Sand looked like originally. And then um, I also had the shade Mocha and Honey that I mixed together to get the shade that I have in here. I think this one is pretty close to maybe the color chai or toffee. This totally wouldn't be deep enough for a foundation shade, but since I go about like one to two shades lighter with my concealer shades, then this actually would be deep enough here. So yeah, I would say that that's probably similar to chai. That's the concealer range that I keep though. I just really like these overall though, because again, they work on even mature skin. They don't really make fine lines and wrinkles super prominent because it's a more like hydrating, like satin kind of finish. And then I just set it really well with powder. It makes your under eyes look very smooth and like very like hydrated looking. It's almost like having an eye cream built in with a concealer, which is kind of awesome. So that's why I like this the most. Then moving on to the actual cream concealers that I keep, I did depot these as well. I have these in a view set container. I get these off of cameraReadyCosmetics.com and I can go ahead and link this for you guys. I don't know which view set this is. I'll have to look it up because all of them have different names to them. It's basically two color correcting palettes in one in here, but I'll go ahead and swatch all these colors for you guys. I like how I didn't even announce what concealer palettes they were. <laughs> They're the Graftobian HD Glamour Cream Concealer Palettes. They retail for $28.99 a piece. They offer targeted color ranges that address the unique concealing and neutralizing needs of all skin tones. And there is the light one and also the dark color corrector palette. So fun fact, I definitely filmed this for about 15 minutes, then realized that my camera was not recording. So there's that. So now we're just refilming what I missed. Uh, basically where I was at, I think was on swatches and I had to like re-swatch everything because I literally thought I was done so I erased like all my swatches. <laughs> It's fine. These are all the swatches that came out of the Graftobian palette. This is the top row, this is the middle row, and then the other one that I can't reach is the third row. And that is pretty much what they look like. These are more of a color correcting palette as opposed to an actual concealer palette. But some of the shades in here are actually really good at matching like skin tones. So like these two colors at the top, um, these pink shades can also be mixed in with them too, just to neutralize it out a little bit more. And I always feel like it's a really good idea to have some sort of cream palette whether it's a cream foundation palette, a cream concealer palette, just for multiple different uses. You never know what people will ask you to do sometimes and just showing up as prepared as possible and having all the things in your makeup kit that you need is very ideal and will make you also a more memorable makeup artist if you just have everything. So that's why I definitely recommend getting some sort of cream foundation or a cream concealer palette, something that's a little bit heavier um, so it can cover up scars, hickeys, bruises, tattoos, whatever you need to cover up. I've covered up all of them with this, by the way. I've also used the pink tones to color correct dark circles underneath the eye. The green tones I've used to, of course, cancel out redness on the skin. Then I've used some of the yellow tones to just like cover up bruises sometimes too. But yeah, that is pretty much it as far as the concealers that I keep in my kit, even though only one of them that I mentioned is technically a concealer. <laughs> Please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are really excited for the 25 days of kit miss and excited for the rest of the 23 remaining videos. I will be uploading each day, so definitely go ahead and turn on the notifications so you guys get notified of whenever I upload those. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.